Breaking news last night. You know that. You saw that. Where uh, I think the probable presidential candidate for the Democrats will be Joe Biden. And he agreed that I was correct when I uh, stopped people from China very early, very, very early, from coming into our country. And Dr. Fauci said that was a very big moment, because it would be a much different picture we have right now had we allowed thousands and thousands of people from a specific area, I don't have to go into it, from China, to come in highly infected. Uh, it would have been a very different uh, thing. The other thing, so I appreciate the fact that he did, because I was called xenophobic, racist. I was called many things uh, when I did that very early. And I got a lot of credit for it in uh, The Federalist, because The Federalist covered the whole journey. And they said Trump was — I didn't speak to the author, respected author. They said Trump was right at every single move. And on top of that, he was going through a fake impeachment, a hoax. I was going through a hoax when I made the decision. And that does take a little time, and certainly a little thinking time. But I appreciated the fact that uh, Joe Biden announced last night that he now agrees that I was correct. You saw the report come out that I was correct when I stopped uh, people from China coming in at a very early date. Mr. President, can we talk about the um, Captain Crozier of the USS Roosevelt? Which one? What? Captain Crozier, the, who was removed, Captain who was removed as the commander of the USS Roosevelt. Uh. Um, I don't know if you saw the videos of sailors cheering for him as he left. Our reporting shows that some sailors have said that they are worried to re-enlist because they are not convinced that commanders are taking care of their health and taking care of them. No. Can you, what, what do you say to them? Well, I don't know much about it. I can only tell you this. Here we have one of the greatest — here we have one of the greatest ships in the world, nuclear aircraft carrier, incredible ship, with thousands and thousands of people. And you had about 120 that uh, were infected. Now, I, I guess the captain stopped in Vietnam, and people got off in Vietnam. I, perhaps you don't do that in the middle of a pandemic or — or something that looked like it was going to be. You know, history would say you don't necessarily stop and let your — your sailors get off, number one. But more importantly, he wrote a letter. The letter was a five-page letter from a captain. And the letter was all over the place. That's not appropriate. I don't think that's appropriate. And these are tough people. These are tough, strong people. I thought it looked terrible, to be honest with you. Now, they made their decision. I didn't make the decision. Secretary of Defense was involved, and a lot of people were involved. I thought it was terrible what he did, to write a letter I mean, this isn't a, a class on literature. This is a captain of a massive ship that's nuclear-powered. And he shouldn't be talking that way in a letter. He could call and ask and suggest. But he stopped in Vietnam. A lot of people got off the boat. They came back, and they had infection. And I thought it was inappropriate for the captain of a ship to do I want to — I don't want to comment as to whether or not, but I agree with their decision 100 percent in the back, please.